The group activity section really is the most important part of the class in terms of the percentage of the grade. So it's important that you listen to this section so you have the best understanding possible when you begin the work. What this will entail is an overview of what will be contained in the group activities or group work section. One of the things to understand is that today much of our experience, both socially and educationally, deals with social or collaborative learning. My personal philosophy is that individuals learn more as part of a group than if they do working individually. So really the idea behind this group experience is to share, collaborate, and experience learning through a group or social process. Also, there's been research that has been done uh, personally and also research that the instructor has reviewed that talks about the importance of groups in terms of motivation as a supportive model. It provides engagement for students and also for instructors and creates a much more participatory environment. And ultimately, what this does is this creates ownership. In other words, a greater sense of ownership of the content and the learning, not only for the individual, but for the group as a whole. Okay, with the group model, what's going to happen is each member of the class is going to be assigned to a specific group. You will only have access to that group and you won't even see the other groups. So in a sense, you won't even know that you're part of a group. But I want to point this out because during the course of the month, the size of the group and also the members of the individual groups may change. And this is done because sometimes some groups or some individuals are more active than others and I try to make it balanced because I don't want to end up with a group maybe where there's not quite the level of participation I'm hoping for and to sort of shake it up I will uh, take the liberty at a, and change that. And, and of course, it won't affect your grade um, specifically. And if I do this, it'll happen at the end of a week, so it won't disrupt any of the threaded discussions. The group area, in terms of the grade, is broken down into three main areas. And I want to go ahead and talk about those now. The first one is called Reporting on the Media. This is a weekly assignment in which you will be given instructions to do some research on a specific item in the media and you will be expected to respond to this and also be part of the discussion. Again, the specifics on this will be posted in the class at a glance in terms of the due dates, but the description of the assignment will be posted in the individual thread. The next section is the current topics in the media. Um, this class is very topical in that throughout the month, specific items that are current, in other words, happening right now in the media, or maybe just recently happened, will be brought up throughout the month. So please stay tuned and also continue to log in each day and read the announcements so you will see exactly what topics are being posted and what the expectation is. The final area in terms of the grade is the research paper discussion. Again, this is similar to the current topics in that throughout the month you will be expected to do certain things, be part of a discussion, post certain things, uh, essentially to support your fellow group members as they're preparing to uh, do their research paper. As a reminder, to find out information on what is due, you want to go to the Class at a Glance section. It highlights the specific areas for the group work, namely the report on the media, the current topics, and also the research paper. The report on the media is pretty straightforward. The other two, essentially, they're, they do have due dates, but it's based on when they're posted. And they'll be posted throughout the month. So again, as a reminder to Sue, encourage you, you want to make sure that you log in each day and read the announcements because the announcements will tell you if there is a new current topic or a discussion on the research paper posted in your group. 
In case I haven't said it enough, I just want to reiterate the importance of logging in each day and really take it that step further and participate in the group activities. You really want to make sure that you're active, not only just in doing the assignments in terms of doing the report on the media assignments, responding to the current topic in the media, but also the discussion. The discussion is really where this class can thrive, where you can really help other people to understand topics in the media in a new way and also hopefully for you to be able to understand different things about the media that you hadn't considered uh, before. So really it's all based on not only the quantity but really the quality of the input. I want to look and see people that are posting thought-provoking comments, questions, trying to really create an ongoing dialogue or discussion regarding these various topics and not just simply responding with I agree and that sounds great, but really adding something, contributing something of value that again helps other people to see things in a new light and to move the conversation forward. If, you, if you're doing that, you're being active, you're being in depth, um, thought provoking and really creating an environment where we can keep these conversations alive and thriving, then you're really doing your job. So if you can do that, then you're in a good, you're in a good shape. So finally, let's talk about the individual threads. Essentially, a thread is a topic. So when you log into your group, you will see a topic. And each time an additional topic or thread is added, it will be at the top of the list. So in other words, it will be in chronological order from most current at the top to oldest at the bottom. And for each thread or topic, you'll see a description. So you will understand exactly what the expectation is. So the main assignment, again, is a report on the media assignment. You will see a clear and pretty in-depth description on what is extended in the topic or in the main heading or the main window area. So you will understand exactly what is expected for this particular thread. And again, for due dates, and point value, values, if you for some reason haven't uh, found it already, it's in the class at a glance section, and I encourage you to look that over as well. Okay, there you have it. So hopefully this video helped you understand exactly what is expected. If you have any questions, again, feel free to go to the question area and you will find that in the group section. This is a section all students. It's not specific to a group even though it's in the group section, but please feel free to go ahead and ask any questions that you have in there. I will try to be active in that as well, and thanks very much.